Right, today's video is going to be about them little feathers that you can see in the camera. And it's about black neon tetras. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about care, uh, care and like just a little bit about their uh, background. Um, I've got them in the uh, camera at the moment, but they might swim out, but because they're fish and they have just a minute ago. There's another one there. Uh, they might come back into the camera view in a minute. I don't, want, don't really want to be keep moving the camera around, but there they are. One of them's actually got one eye, uh, and that's when I bought it. Yeah, I always had one eye. Oh, not the uh, camera over. Right, uh, they say kind of the minimum size that you should keep a, a black neon texture in is about 45 gallon. Um, no, nah, it's about 10 gallons or about 40, 40 to 45 liters. Um, you know. It's not really fair keeping them cramped in a small little tank like 30 litres. Because at the end of the day, even though they're a small fish, they're a tetra, and a tetra likes to swim a lot. Um, hence, like you've got fish like rummy nose tetras. Um, I've got them in this tank, which is 60 litres. But really, they should be... Really, they, they, could, they could thrive in tanks of kind of 400 litres. But, um, I mean, they're doing really fine at the moment, and... Um, you know they look all right, so that's all right. And you know I'm thinking about upgrading the tank to 125 liters in the near future or whenever. Uh, it's very tempting. Um, care level, I'd say pretty easy. Just gotta make sure that everything's just nice in your tank. If you keep on top of your water changes and stuff, then it's all really good. Uh, water conditions, well they like a pH of anything from about 5 to 7 my pH in this tank is bang on 7 so it's absolutely perfect for uh, them, yeah, it's their perfect condition um, they're quite a, they're a social fish um, you know they they like you know social environments, they like kind of other fish quite a community tank, uh, community fish they thrive best in kind of soft water conditions. Mine's not exactly mega soft, but it's not mega hard. It's like right in the middle, so it's absolutely perfect. And it's, you know, well, it's not perfect, but, you know, every, nothing's going to be perfect. But, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're fine. And I've had these for um, a year now. I haven't lost any. They're all um, healthy. Um, food wise, uh, I feed mine standard flakes but you know I can, I've seen them pecking on like the rocks and stuff for algae just like any fish would um, you know uh, it's just natural for any fish to eat algae and little bits of like weed and stuff at the bottom of the tank and it's just it's just what fish are so um, you know you see it in lakes where fish some don't get in lakes or rivers fish won't naturally get fed so they'd obviously eat all sorts of little bits so uh, and you know that's what a fish will do they they're from originally from South America uh, lakes and rivers they've um, they've made their way into all different kind of water water systems but, um, yeah from uh, their fresh water uh, not salt water um, I think that's about it, really, what I can, what I can think about, really, um, off the top of my head. You know, they like a clean, clean tank, mine's fairly clean, they do like it planted. My tank used to be planted, I've only got one big jungle valve at the moment, but I'm getting um, probably about five plants later, or even more. I'm going to get this tank looking absolutely peak again really get it looking nice and get it really planted out so I really want it back to how it well it didn't used to be amazing but it used to have more plants and I want it looking like a really good planted heaven and and, and the better the more plants you know the better the fish are going to be so um it's really about it so I've told you about my plans I'm getting more plants um going to uh, take some of the bigger rocks out, like that rock that you can see right in the camera might take him out and put some plants, uh, get a bit more jungle veil going at the back, um, yeah I'm not sure what plants I'm going to get, I'm going to have a look when I'm there, but yeah I'll, I'll do a video later again 
just about the plants up in the tank and uh, yeah I hope you found it interesting talking about the uh, black neon textures they're a great contrast if you've got a really heavy planted tank of green and then you've got a nice few black neon textures the contrast is really nice and it can look really well it can look really good so um, that's something to think about if you like kind of colour colour difference they can really stand out so um, that's about it I uh, hope you found the video interesting I'll try and get another one up later showing you the new plants and um, comment like and if I'm lucky and you haven't already subscribe please thank you